Hey, what's up guys? Brian from Zombie Guitar here. In this video, I want to do something a little bit differently than I uh, normally do, which is uh, my normal guitar lessons. In this video, I want to talk about uh, using amp simulation software. So, essentially what amp simulation software is, is it just allows you to take your guitar, plug it right into your computer, and basically have a processor pedal right there on your computer. If you don't know what a processor pedal is, like something like a Boss GT100 or a Digitech... Um, I don't really know the different Digitech models and stuff, but they're like $500, $600 pedals and stuff that you would take and you would plug your guitar into it. You would then plug the pedal into an amp, and then, uh, you know, from there you have a whole bunch of effects, a bunch of different distortions, a bunch of different amp models, delays, choruses, reverbs, wah-wah pedal, all that stuff. So um, essentially this is just a way to do that just right in, into your computer. And the uh, program I use is called S-Gear. And it's a $129 uh, program, and um, so I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. I don't make any money off of this if you do decide to use the software, but I did put a link below in case you do want to check it out. There's other ones out there. I just did my research, and I compared and contrasted, and then read forums and went on Reddit and stuff like that. And this is the one I came up with, S-Gear. So in this video, I want to give you um, two things. Number one, I'm just going to basically switch my screen over and just kind of mess around with the different functions of uh, the software so you can see what it's like just to tweak around with knobs and the different effects and stuff like that. And then I'm going to get into uh, the technical setup part. It's not super technical. There's probably a lot of stuff I don't know. But just getting to the point where you can take your guitar, plug it into your computer, and then have things work so you can hear it in either your headphones or you can either connect externally to a, an amp or something like that just so you can get to that point so you can actually use this stuff i'm just going to get the uh, technical part in the uh, later part of this video so uh, let me switch my screen over here and uh, now you can see uh, what is on the screen on my other screen so i have two monitors here so i'm looking over at my other monitor which is where all the controls are so this is what the uh, program looks like when you first open it up you can either use it as just like a regular desktop app, or you can use it in conjunction with a DAW. A DAW is a digital audio workstation, which is if you want to record yourself, which I'll show you that later in this video. But let's just assume you just want to plug your guitar in and jam around, put the headphones on, and play around with the different stuff. So when you first uh, open it up, it looks like this. And... Um, you know, this is uh, your amp, so let me, I have my Strat here, so if this gets a, little, a bit noisy, Strat, single coil pickups, forgive me if it makes too much noise, but single coil pickups are just noisy guitar, they just make for noise. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> Alright, so nice clean tone there, and... Um, so this is this top part here is like the amp and you can just control all your different knobs you can turn stuff on and off okay um, you can right click and then select different amps so select amp this one is called the uh, the Wayfarer amp they have five different amps that you can choose so you can select the Duke you can select the Steeler the Jackal I think the Custer, one of them is like a Marshall, I think. The J, no. The Steeler. So I guess the Steeler, they're trying to um, replicate like a Marshall type of amp. So, uh, but anyway, let's just leave it at what they had it at. I forget which one they had it at. No, they had it at the Wayfair. Okay, so they had it at that. So this is back to stock tone. Now you have effects down here. So this is this one right here is your uh, cabinet simulation. So if you want to uh, play around with different cabinets, right now it's on a 1x12. You can have 2x12s, all these different 2x12s, 4x12s. So different, uh, different cabinets will give you different tones. <laughs> mess with your mics you can mess with the mic placement and stuff like that like where you would have your mic right up to your amp for uh, different types of recorded sounds and stuff like that um, 
So I'm not super great at dialing in the exact tone that I want. It's just a matter of playing, tweaking, and turning knobs and stuff like that. So this part is just the uh, the cabinet simulation part. The top part is your amp. So if you had like a half stack or something like that, the top part would be your head. And then this part would be the different type of cabinets that you would want to use, okay? So, um, and don't worry, there's we're going to get into the presets in a second. So you can actually, if you don't want to do all the tweaking, which I don't really do a lot of tweaking, I just kind of do the different presets and stuff. I just want to show you the the basics first before we get into that. So cabinet, room thing is a reverb. So that's like having a reverb pedal with all different types of things to control. Um, S gear IO, I don't really know exactly what that is to be honest with you and uh, you can right click and you can add device so I'm going to go add a couple more devices I'm going to add delay I'm going to add mod thing so this is just like having a pedal chain so if this is your amp this is your cabinet this is a reverb pedal this is a delay pedal and then this is a either a chorus pedal or a flanger pedal so that's you can do a lot of stuff with that all right so it doesn't have every effect in the world i'm sure there's a way to you know get more effects into this somehow i don't really know how to do that yet but this is plenty to keep me occupied for hours so let's say uh you know you know you can turn these x's if you if you hit the x that turns these uh effects on or off so right now I just turned delay and mod, which I just added. I turned them off. So let's say I want to go and I want to turn this mod thing on. I want to add some chorus. I'll, I'll go and turn that back on. Okay, so you can just tweak these knobs here. Let's say I want to, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what all this stuff means. I just, I just turn knobs until something sounds good. So I'm going to turn this up. Let's see how that sounds. Every time I have a chorus on, I always just think it's Come As You Are by Nirvana. So anyway, that's, um, you know, that's if you wanted to add chorus, let's add a flange, change it to the flange effect. So, cool little effect. If I want to turn that back off, I'm back to just. Um, so, you can add some delay. Let me just, uh, before I uh, do that, let me just get to the different presets first. So, let me um, come to the presets menu. And I'll try, I like this one, Plex Monster. I guess that's trying to be like a plexi head, like a Marshall plexi head. So I chose the Plex mo Monster thing. I want to get out of this window, so I'm going to click Presets again. So now I'm in uh, back in the amp mode again. So let's hear all this sound. So there's no delay. kind of cool delay you know so um i really don't know what all this stuff means i just know that i got this cool thing and i know that once i plug my guitar into it and i put these headphones on five hours goes by like that and then i don't know it's just it, it, i spend a lot of time messing around with it so uh this is just me tweaking around with it uh, i think you get the idea all right so i'm not gonna um I'm not going to spend, you can do this yourself if you choose to get this program. Let me uh, get to actually how to set this up now. All right, so I guess I'm not the best uh, spokesperson for this S gear company. I'm not trying to sell their product. I'm just saying that I use their product and it's fun to play with if you choose to buy it. I don't get anything from it. However, I can show you how to get your guitar plugged into your computer, which is what we're going to do right now. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need uh, an interface. 
So this, what you see on the screen here, is an interface. Uh, this is the Focusrite. I got this at Sam Ash. You can also get it at Amazon. I posted a link to that below. That link is an affiliate link. That means if you go to Amazon and you buy this, Amazon will give me a commission. Maybe they'll give me 35 cents. I don't know how much Amazon gives, but their commissions are super small and it's pretty negligible. But whatever. It is an affiliate link, so if you do buy it from Amazon through my link, thank you. I appreciate it. So that's an interface. You take your guitar... You plug your guitar into the interface with a quarter inch cable, just a standard quarter inch cable. And then the back of the interface, the back of the focus right, goes right into the USB port into your computer. So now I uh, can get my guitar into the interface, into the computer. I can get my signal into the computer, which can then be processed. So, um, uh, first I'm just going to show you how you, if you just want to use this as a desktop app, let's say you don't care about recording, you just want to plug in, you want to put your headphones in, you plug your headphones in into the interface, and then you can hear all the sounds that are being produced by your computer right into your headphones, which is what I do to practice at late hours at night. Um, so just as a desktop app, you open it up, and it takes a minute to open up. Let me drag this to this screen. All right. So, uh, you basically just want to do audio driver configuration. Everything keeps opening up on my other monitor. So, your driver, Focusrite USB audio. That's the thing. That's the interface. That's what you plug your guitar into. And um, that is your driver. And I don't think it, I don't have, there's no other options. So, uh, I think that just automatically happens once you plug your uh, interface into your computer automatically just recognizes it and then audio routing input left and input right the interface that I have has two um, two inputs that you can use so left is one right is two my guitar goes into the left one this microphone from this headset goes into number two so my audio gets into my interface through number two, my guitar gets into my interface through number one. The interface then gets plugged into a computer via USB, and then you're just essentially telling this thing, okay, number one is guitar, number two is whatever input right is. And I don't think that this does anything with my vocals, but I'll show you what, why that matters in a second. So that's if you just want to plug your guitar in and start tweaking and playing all your stuff. Let me turn this desktop app off and now let me show you how if you want to record yourself so this is what I do for my uh, YouTube recordings I use this program called uh, Reaper and uh, drag this over here so Reaper is a $60 DAW DAW digital audio workstation there's another free one out there called Audacity and uh, I use Audacity but I can't seem to get Audacity to work with this program with this S Gear Amp Simulator program. So I use Reaper, and after using Reaper for just even a short amount of time, it's much, much better than Audacity. So I, it's $60. They give you like a 60 day free trial. And once you uh, do the trial, then it's a uh, 60 day or it's sixty dollars to get the licensed version. So for 60 bucks, it's a phenomenal program. And um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out how to get S Gear into this, uh, how to get S gear amp simulation into your digital audio workstation. So you do that by going to uh, options, preferences, and you come down to VST, plugins, VST, and basically you're just going to put your file path right here. Okay, so C program files, Scuffle Amps, Scuffle Amps is the um, name of the company that makes this S gear amp simulator. So once you install this, this folder is where your the program gets installed to and then you're basically just linking it right to this S gear VST wherever this S gear VST uh, file is that's where you want to have right in this thing and once you do that you're gonna hit apply and you're gonna hit OK now Reaper will recognize S gear you may have to shut Reaper down and then reopen it to let it the computer do its thing but once you do that then this is what happens. You can add a new track. Now say I want to add an effect to this track. The effect that I'm adding to the track is going to be S gear, this amp simulation software. So I'm going to add an effects 
and hold on. Keep having to drag things over here. So I add an effects, and it gives me a bunch of effects to choose from. One of them being the S gear scuff of amps. So I just click that, and now it applied that to track number three. I'm not recording anything on track number three right now. I'm just showing you how to get it all set up. Okay, so right here, number one is my guitar. So you'll see if I do this. A little waveform comes up. Number two is my audio. That's why you see all that stuff there because I'm rambling here. And then number three is if I wanted to add something else. But I don't need that. So let me delete that track. So I already have effects enabled for track number one. I can bring this back up. And there you can see my S gear. So I can... All right, and then I can go back to doing my different stuff. Let me try Creamy Clean. I think that's a nice sounding one. Or, uh, I don't know. I like this one. I wanted to show you this one. Luke Lead. Super cool delay there. Um, so yeah, that's how you get it into your uh, di digital audio workstation. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to say, uh, if you do, if you're in Reaper, if that's the doll that you're using and you have this S gear turned, turned on and plugged in, but you're not hearing the sound, you have to, number one, have record arm on. You have to have um, uh, record monitoring on. So I'm monitoring through my headphones. If I wanted to monitor, I could just plug in into the back of my interface right into my amp, and that would be my monitoring device instead. But you have to have record monitoring on, you have to have the, the selected effects on, which is S gear, and then you have to have your record armed. That way you can hear the effect that you're doing, all right? So that's just a, a problem I ran into. It took me a couple minutes to figure that out. Um, so one last thing about this digital audio stuff. Let me just add a new track. Um, insert media file so I have Pink Floyd time backing track oh look I can do all this stuff live so let me come over Ooh. so now I'm just gonna this is all I'm doing this as I'm making this video so I'm just going to jam over top of this So I just recorded that bit live, and uh, I don't know how I managed to pull that one off, but uh, you're, you're literally seeing me tweaking, doing my computer stuff, trying to figure this out from a not super technological understanding what they're doing type of person. So you're, you're watching me do this, so you can figure this stuff out too if you're not super good with this stuff, all right? So I'm just showing you what I know so far, how to get your guitar into your computer, how to record and uh, so basically to have this whole setup here, the interface thing was like 160 bucks. The S gear uh, amp simulation software was 129 bucks. And then uh, the Reaper program after the 60 day free trial was $60. So we're at like, like 300 and something dollars, $360. You can do all this stuff for under $400. So you could buy processor pedals for 500 or you can have all this cool stuff, have your headphones play till five o'clock in the morning and no one's going to get mad at you for under 400. So, you know, there it is. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions and, uh, all that stuff, if you like this video, feel free to comment, 
I'll be glad to help you out in any way I can. I only know what you saw here. So that's, um, that's my video. Thanks a lot. Thank you.